Hello guys, it's Legend over here. The recent patch that we received, the <coughs> patch, <coughs> yeah, uh, it gave us a new event, the um, Gremlin, Pumpkin, whatever event, uh, where you have to just storm through the dungeon uh, really quickly uh, to make sure that you are at level 5 at the end and you receive the maximum of 5 juices so you can level up your pumpkin right over here. A lot of people have been messaging me on Discord uh, that they've been struggling with it, so today I came up with a little tutorial, so it's going to be a very short video. Uh, so we're going to go through both of the variations of the dungeon and see what we need to do. And uh, if uh, you would ask me to describe this event in one quote, that would be... MOVE YOUR ASS! Alright, let's roll. If I could give you two important tips when you run this event dungeon. First, try not to look at the uh, meter, because it kind of discourages you if you are, you know, it, it, it distracts you, it discourages you if it's low, so uh, make sure not to look at it. It's pretty simple. Second of all, don't stop moving. Whenever you just go through the dungeon, just throw these uh, bombs at the gremlins right away, and then start moving. You just threw one, keep on moving after that. So. As you can see, I'm playing Arisha, and she has uh, attack cancel animations, so it allows me to dash uh, faster. So try not to use the regular sprinting, because um, it, it usually just slows you down. And if you somehow run out of stamina, don't hesitate to wait 2-3 seconds uh, to, you know, to just to refill the stamina a little bit, and then just keep on doing your dashes, whichever character you're playing doing the glides, glints, uh, cartwheels, uh, anything, rolls, whatever. Just always keep in mind, throw a bomb, whatever. It's just, it honestly doesn't even matter where you throw the bomb. As long as it's uh, as close, you know, or, you know, around the gremlins, they, it, it will stun them. They have a pretty, pretty um, big AoE on them. Now, then, there is a transition, you go to the next level, uh, don't forget to pick up more uh, bombs, and uh, watch out for the uh, armored gremlins. So, they look differently, you will see, they either are wearing, like, a sorcerer's hat, or, you know, a helmet, or anything, they, they just, they don't look like regular gremlins. You just have to make sure that you uh, stun all the gremlins and stun the gatekeeper, because once you get to this red icon at the end, uh, it will, you know, it will slow you down. So you have to make sure that you are stunning the uh, the gatekeeper gremlin, which is usually in front of that red gate. And once you stun them, uh, it's over. Just proceed uh, further. And if for some particular reason you are behind just a little bit to hit the level 5 on the meter, don't kill the end boss, the pumpkin, this guy. Make sure you stun other gremlins around him and only then proceed to kill him. Because every uh, gremlin that you stun is going to fill the meter even more for you. Now, obviously, there are different types of maps here and uh, combinations in between them. So, uh, but the key thing about this whole dungeon remains the same. Keep on rushing through the thing. Throw a bomb, rush. Throw a bomb, rush. That's it. And you can bounce them off using some, you know, geometry and stuff if you're uh, really good in the mathematics. But it's really, this dungeon doesn't really, uh, you know, you don't need to, to, to spend any effort whatsoever. Just always keep in mind, throw a bomb at the gremlins and then just keep on dashing, uh, do you know, with your dodge moves or, you know, whatever you have. If you have a blink, a double blink or a double dash, it's gonna even, you know, faster, make it faster for you. And don't forget about the gatekeeper. Once the gatekeeper is stunned, uh, the uh, chain will unlock and you will be able to proceed further. In this particular uh, Caesar map, in the Caesar pre-dungeon, whenever that lock uh, gets destroyed, you can, uh, there is an invisible wall until the, the gate opens, the gate itself opens. So you can actually bounce off uh, the bombs off that invisible wall and stun all the gremlins that are behind and they're, you know, trying to attack you or, you know, interrupt you. So, it's pretty, pretty simple. Keep all these tips in mind and uh, 
Uh, you'd be surprised. Like as you can see, I'm almost level six here, and I didn't. Re I don't even sweat here. I just drop the bombs. I just dash forward, and that's it. Uh, here might be a little inconvenience, uh, as you just saw, uh, where uh, you can't proceed further for some particular reason. That means that the gatekeeper actually didn't get stunned. So whenever you are passing through a large amount of gremlins, make sure that you do it twice. You throw two bombs just like I do uh, right over here, just to make sure that you know you, you you stun all of them, and that's it. Just proceed further. Uh, honestly, I, uh, I don't know how to, uh, you know, how to explain it easier. Uh, I honestly never struggle with it. I think I only failed it, like, once. Uh, I, I did, like, three juices out of five. I had it at level three. Uh, but then I kind of... It, it, it was mostly because uh, I wasn't quite familiar with all the uh, gremlin spots in the... It, I think it was the Nile. Um, the Nile pre-dungeon, yeah. But you will learn it quite fast, and um, don't forget that you can buy an extra ticket with 300,000 gold uh, from the cat daily. So you can actually run this dungeon uh, twice a day. Or you can stack them all until the last day, because the uh, dungeon itself is infinite. So you can technically just stack all your tickets and then just do it in, like, in one go, in one night. Once you gain uh, level 8, it's, it's you know, uh, buying a ticket on its own uh, for 300,000 gold is optional. It just uh, depends on if you want to just get over this event uh, faster, right? So once you get to level 8, you buff your pumpkin to level 8, you can actually just forget about this dungeon because there is no, like, infinite um, infinite box like how it uh, was with the different types of uh, this kind of event. And uh, once again, don't look at the meter so you don't get too discouraged. Look at the meter only at the end, and if you are uh, close to five, uh, make sure that you are stunning the gremlins first, and then kill the end boss. And that's it. Simple as that. And that's it for today for this particular event dungeon. Not so hard, isn't it? <laughs> this was Legend Arma TV. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to YouTube channel, and make sure to stay tuned for more videos. They are coming shortly. I see you next time. Love you all 3000, stay safe, see you later.